Good afternoon, Jets Nation. Welcome to the Drew Jets Show. Today was the NFL trade deadline, and ever since Joe Douglas has been the New York Jets general manager, he's made at least one move at the deadline. And did he continue his streak today? He 100% did. He sent Jacob Martin in a 2024 fifth round pick to the Denver Broncos in exchange for a 2024 fourth round pick. Now, I actually like this move for the Jets because Jacob Martin was kind of just there on the team. We signed him this offseason to be a rotational edge rusher for us, but we drafted Jermaine Johnson and Michael Clemens this year. We also re-signed Vinny Curry, and we already had Bryce Huff. And whenever you put all that on the defensive line, I mean, we're going to see good things, but there was just too much room there. You know, you knew eventually one of those guys is just going to be let loose. And that guy was Jacob Martin, who had one and a half sacks through eight games a season, which is pretty good, especially for a rotational edge rusher. But Bryce Huff was putting up better pressure rates. We have the old veteran guy in Vinnie Curry, who's preaching all this leadership to the young defensive linemen, as well as doing, you know, a lot of great things in the run game. And then Br Jermaine Johnson, he's the first round pick this year. He's also been hurt. We're not going to get rid of him. Michael Clemens, he's the Cyclops, the X-Men looking fourth round pick who's an absolute beast. Nobody wants to mess with this guy, so you can't get rid of him. And Jacob Martin was just one of those guys who, yeah, he wasn't playing bad. It's just he also wasn't doing anything too special. And with this Jacob Martin, you know, trade, we now get more snaps for Bryce Huff, which is absolutely huge for our defense because whenever he's on the field, the pressure numbers have just been better. More snaps for Jermaine Johnson, who was our first round pick this season. We need to see what we have in this guy. And if we keep on getting him more snaps, he's going to keep on getting better and better. And it also means more snaps for Michael Clemens. We also get to see what we have in this beast of a rookie. And this contract also clears up some cap space for Bryce Huff, who's probably going to get a similar contract to what Jacob Martin got this offseason, which was a three-year deal worth $15 million. But yeah, I like this trade for the New York Jets. We were sellers this time around, but I mean, hey, I'm not complaining. What are you guys' thoughts on this trade? Comment it down below. And I'm your host, Jujet, signing off for now. See you guys later. Peace.